what fundamentally is the problem and why is the industry heading for disaster? It's because they focused entirely on malware and not thinking about the breach. It's one of those things where I would always go into a, a CIO or a CISO and say, what's more important? Is it stopping the breach or is it stopping a piece of malware? You know the answer? 100% of the time it's stopping the breach. But why is the entire industry trying to stop malware? One of the things that I saw was that the, the current architectures that we were dealing with before we started the company, they look like 1990 architectures. Client server, there's 18 month development cycles, so let's put up a SQL database as a management console because you know, we didn't build one the right way from scratch. It was a bolt-on to some of the endpoint technologies. It just felt like something needed to be done radically different than the status quo. There's a lot of folks who, when you basically said, we're going to deliver endpoint security from the cloud, they said, no way, impossible. So if we look at today, where we are, we've kind of broken this out into three areas, right? We separated into... Uh, endpoint security, next-gen AV and EDR, threat hunting for security operations and IT hygiene, threat intel, and search for intelligence. Right, This is all being driven by the platform, which is all uh, powered by machine learning and AI. And then we have an ecosystem. Right, So this is where we are today. So if you think about six years to this room with all these people and Falcon host in 2013 to this, um, is a lot of very uh, fast uh, pace development and movement, um, and hopefully our customers are appreciating the benefit of that.